Hey, what's happening everyone? Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate it. I know it's been a long time since we've had uh, one of these videos, but I'm really looking forward to a bit of gameplay now. You know, we've uh, obviously had all of the other videos that have led up to this, learned a bit about the mechanics. We've seen some of the graphic design, some of the core elements of what the developers are trying to do. So this is a bit of a longer video. I'm really excited to see how things come about. As per usual, I'm going to be sort of stopping in between, reacting, giving my thoughts and opinions, but otherwise, I really can't wait for this. I know I'm a little bit late on it, but hopefully we can uh, react to this together. Hi, my name is Lukas Vorznek, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Ola. Hi. And I'm the designer of The Witcher Old World, an adventure board game, uh, co-published by Go On Board and set the project uh, Red. And today we are together because we are going to show you part of a two-player gameplay. We've been playing this game for quite a while. I've seen it on many different stages, so I'm very happy to be here today because I can see some new uh, miniatures and everything. So I'm oh, very look at the miniatures there. there! Yeah, we are not going to show you a full gameplay, but just a part of it to show you the game flow. And before that, I will explain how the player turn looks so uh, you will be able to understand what is going on. But first of all, let me address uh, some of the pressing issues. This is not a final uh, product, so Disclaimer. visual components and materials are not final. Some of the graphic design may be altered in the final product. This is just a prototype. Second of all, the Kickstarter campaign launches in May, pretty soon. Follow the link in the description and sign up, you will be notified on the day it launches. Remember, we are using the Kickstarter to fund the game and to get as many people involved in the project as possible. And we've been already getting a lot of feedback, comments, suggestions from you, and we love it. Keep them coming. And of course, the more people uh, help us fund the project, we may add more stuff on top of what you see here already. Today Extension we're not goals. playing the full game, Let's only go. a portion of it, so you can get an idea of how the game flows. But in the near future, you're going to get a full three-player game demonstration. Oh, and wow. last but not least, many of you are asking about a cooperative and a solo mode of the game. And I can tell you today that a solo co-op expansion will be included as part of the campaign. No way. Yes, <laughs> yes, but that is something that we will be covering in a new future. Not today. Stay tuned. Okay. That's so good from the developers to basically try and accommodate everything. I, th I think that when you have a game that can do solo, co-op, and, and uh, PvP as well, uh, I think it just shows that the game mechanic is super robust. I love that idea. So much flexibility. Um, you know, we're in these kind of pressing times as this video is made where we've got lockdowns and pandemics. People are coming out of pandemics. People are coming out of lockdowns, this sort of thing. So I think it's really good that, you know, we have options there, which is great. So I'm not going to carry on talking. I'm really excited to see this. Let's go. Okay, so can we play now? Yeah, first let me go through the turn structure and then uh, we'll uh, begin the game. When the player takes a turn, they will go through three phases. In phase one, the active player travels using the cards in their hand and also they will be taking actions in the locations that they visit. In phase two, the player has three options. The first, they can instigate a fight against a monster in their location or a witcher in the location that they occupy. Secondly, they may meditate. They may do so only if they have reached the top fifth level of any of the four attributes. Okay. And the third option is exploration, which is something you'll probably be doing quite a lot of. Through exploration, the active player will find themselves in particular situations with different choices and sometimes in bigger quests. After that comes phase three. During that phase, the player draws three cards from their deck, gains an additional card from the common pool, and then prepares for the next turn. And once we get into it, after a couple of turns, when I am taking my phase three, you may already begin your phase one, and that way the game 
works even smoother. Nice, it has okay, a flow. Okay, looks like we're all set up and ready to go. Mm. Uh, let's pick who's going who who's going first. Mm. Choose wisely. Yes. <laughs> okay, I go first. I take two gold and draw three cards from my deck. You go second. You draw five cards and three gold. So as a witcher from the school of the griffin, I start in Kair Seren. And I will travel so by good. playing the water symbol to Sidaris. And there I train my defense. I may also play this symbol to travel to Cintra. I'm, I'm not going to fight Fiend yet, not ready. And this location allows me to draw a potion card from top of the deck. And with my last card, again, water, I will travel here and this allows me to train my specialty, which is magic for the griffin. Mm. I'm out of cards, so I'm done for traveling. And I'm not going to fight. And I'm unable to uh, meditate and get a trophy from my top level, so... Right, so, obviously the cards in hand. I actually thought they were all going to be combat-based completely, but it looks like they have a dual ability there which is really good so naturally what we've just seen the developer do is use those cards to move between different locations and travel and as you can see there each of the locations does have a, a different uh, ability or a different uh, command that you can do there so whether it's training yourself getting more cards and you don't have to immediately fight the monsters there so that's really interesting actually i do like that that's really cool so i choose to explore and i choose to explore the city surroundings According to books written by learned men, the lizard people known as Vrens have long been in this part of the continent. Mm. Clearly, the two Vrens armed with spears you are facing never read these books. <laughs> We've retreated into the wilds to live in peace. Must you bother us even here? Where by all gods can we go? Now you got a, you got two options to choose. Mm -hmm. If you greet everyone at spear point, no wonder you have enemies. Or you can say, I'm not here to bother you. I'll find another way. Hmm, aggressive, do you want to be aggressive or friendly? I will be friendly. I'm not going to bother you. <laughs> the road you take isn't easy, but it's overgrown with useful herbs. Draw two potions. Okay. Yo, that's so cool. All right, you got some options there. So, I've let them be. Draw new potions. Now I move to my uh, phase three. I draw three cards and I choose a new card and add it to my and some of them may have additional costs, but I will take a zero cost card to my hand. And I slide it down, draw a new ah, one. that's the common now offering, okay. Your turn. All right. Okay, so I move mm -hmm. towards you. Yellow. To fight, no, no, not to fight. Uh, but yeah. we can play poker. Yeah. All right. Uh, you get one, I get one. Mm -hmm. There is a local guy, mm -hmm. but he has already lost. <laughs> So there's uh, three gold up for grabs. All right. We both roll. And since you started it, I will go first. Ooh, Oops. You're pretty close to straight flush. Yeah. And I have two pairs. Oh, that's so cool. So I will, I have one reroll. I will reroll the four. And, okay. It's again, I have still two pairs. All right. I'm, uh, <laughs> I t I'm tempted to, do, to go for uh, For the flush? For the flush. Okay. The um, it's like a Not game in a game. It, no. So you have a pair of fours. Uh, strategically, maybe that, not the best move, but thank you for I the goal. I know. Um, all right. Can I also do this? Yes, yes. And your armor is at the same level as your level, so you can move it up by one. All right. Uh, what can I do next? I can travel some more. So I'm going to go here. Mm -hmm. So here I don't get the money, mm -hmm. but uh, I can get a trail token. Yeah, a fiend, arahas, or a harpy. I'm gonna take arahas. Okay, okay. Okay, so you're so tracking the monsters that you want to hunt. Okay, I'm not so far away. Also, one gold. So next I'm gonna go here, mm. get a potion. Yes, Maribor Forest. Uh, next I'm going to. This is Stigga, and as in any school on the map, you... That's such a cool model, man. That's so cool. I love it.
Although uh, that's the sort of thing you want to paint up. <laughs> yeah. Pay gold to train here, right? You can train whatever, but not your specialty armor. You can only do that at your own. So. I see. Okay, so here I'm paying two gold to get my defense up. Mm -hmm. I'm paying two because okay. I'm on level two. Mm. And last, I'm gonna go to the Art Modron. Art Modron. And here you can train your combat. Yes, please. Nice. Only alchemy, and you're gonna reach level two. Ah, okay. You're out of cards, so I guess you're exploring, yeah? Yes, please. The city or its surroundings? I'm exploring the city. Okay. Oh, what a fine evening this was. There's oh. nothing like delicious ale, fine food, and a comfortable bed in the morning. Mm -hmm. You are awakened by a knock on the door of your rented attic room. <clears throat> Will you lend an ear to the tale of the prophet Lebioda? There are two men waiting outside the door. <laughs> Close the door and go back to bed or talk to them. A little philosophy over breakfast never hurt anyone. Oh, man. Let's talk to them. Uh, okay. You realize something is not right the moment the two men enter the room. You've no chance to reach your sword and it's hard to defend against a dagger at your neck with nothing but bare hands. Whoa. Sorry. All you can do is watch as the other man rifles through your bags. So you lose any one trophy. If you had any special abilities, you would lose one. Now you lose a card okay. with the highest cost. Okay, okay. put it away. But you get a quest. <gasps> Yay! And when you reach the destination, I'm going to read an event card for you. Okay. So it tells us to pick a, another water token. Oops. Okay, just... Wow, that is uh, pretty cool, actually. It's um, I think it's going to be one of those where, obviously, if you play the game enough, you're going to know what the results are of every card that you draw in terms of quests and stuff like that. There's going to be people out there that do that. Definitely not me. I can't remember anything. But uh, I think that that's going to be really interesting for some tactical decisions. So, obviously, there was a disadvantage there that you would have lost a trophy. You would have lost um, some stuff that you've gained. But you've now been put onto a fresh quest so it shows that i think that the game's going to have a lot of variety and i think that it's going to be quite dynamic in the sense of you know no two games are really going to feel the same i think you can plan as well as you can plan and even with knowing certain cards you know there's going to be different quests that you go on and this sort of thing so that's really interesting actually let's see how uh what they do further this one is far away card is seven okay and you draw three cards you get another one Okay, so give me the purple one, please. Mm -hmm. The first one, Intense Igni, and we slide the cards, and now it's my second turn. So I pay one card of my hand, travel here, I am in Bear's Fortress, mm -hmm. pay two to train my combat, and continue on my travel to Beauclair, where I get another potion, four, this is the maximum that I can have, Okay. And right now, I am going to try and fight with Harpy. I play one card, travel here. I may take an action before I fight, so I will get rid of one of the cards I have, the last card in my hand, and get a new one, slightly stronger one, ah, okay. from the deck. And now, Ola, you will have to control the Harpy. Uh-oh. Okay, let's see what combat's Take like. 12 cards. During my first turn, my combat will be lowered to zero. And da, 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 da. Right, so the deck gets built up as we go along. Developers now shuffling the deck, ready to draw the cards and have a fight against the Harpy. So it seems like there's a dual use for the cards that you have in hand. So you're spending them to travel and do things. Uh, which is essentially your movement, and then you shuffle, and it looks like he's going to draw some cards and actually fight this harpy. So this would be interesting. I'm ready for you. Are you sure there's 12 cards? Yes. Double check, please. <laughs> oh, now it's 11. <laughs> 
No, and now it's 12. <laughs> okay, I don't have a trail token, mm -hmm. so unfortunately the harpy will go first. You choose whether it bites or charges. I choose. All right, uh, I'm going to say it's charges. Oh, okay, four damage. One, two, three, and four. Ooh. Okay. So now, now it's my turn, and I'm going to drink a potion. I only have one card in my hand. I drink a Tawny Owl, which is the only only potion I will be able to drink. I only have one. I'll call me one. Okay. And I draw two cards from my deck. And I play quite a nice combo. One, two, three damage. So three cards. One, two, three. Okay. I raise a shield by one and I get one more card. Okay. It bites. Oh, you. I get a damage equal to my alchemy level, which is only one. So this turn I'm not going to do much damage. I play Irden, slow you down, mm -hmm. draw two and two cards equal to my combat. Now you attack. You ready? Mm -hmm. It charges. Okay, uh, three damage. So one, two and three. Oh, um, okay. So you can discard cards. I'm completely forgetting maybe some of the mechanics from the previous videos, but it seems like you can discard cards to reduce the amount of damage that you're taking. So um, there's going to be a bit of back and forth with the hand and the shuffling and the deck building. Okay. How cards you have left? Uh, I got six. Okay. I was not prepared at all. I, But pretty strong attack, dealing five damage. Ew. And I'm out. I've managed to chase the Harpy away. It only has one card left so we take it out i don't get the trophy ah, but okay. i do get the coin mm -hmm. and we are drawing another level one monster to replace it so you draw a token so if you don't kill the monster in a single bout of combat even if it was by one point there monster flies off you've kind of saved the day but you haven't got the trophy so you don't get the benefit of the trophy but you still do get some reward so it's encouraging to see that you can still fight stuff even if you're under leveled and you still get some rewards so that's good this one where's that mm -hmm. okay so you've drawn a foglet and we we take a new location token for it number 18 which is here on the south and we place the miniature on the map. And at the end of my turn, I, of course, shuffle my deck, mm -hmm. draw three cards, and get a new one. If I have won, I would have gotten the trophy. Okay, I will pay up two cards to purchase a exploding shield, a strong yellow one. And now, Ola, you go. All right. So, first let me go uh, one up, which mm -hmm. is the number 12. Yeah. Hey! I mm -hmm. just, and I'm you get a trail this. token. Next I'm gonna go to Bon Art. Mm. Uh, get trained. You, uh, you get alchemy. Another potion. Oh, and since all four attributes are here, you get one up, level up and you draw one card immediately from your deck. Nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, awesome. Nice. Nice, nice. So now I'm gonna go um, brawl with you. Right no. Here. No? Yes. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready. You have a say on that? I don't think so. No, you, I don't. You, if you want, you may trash a card and get a stronger one from that. Yes, pool. please. Okay, let me get precise blow. Okay, oh. trash this one. Get a stronger red Oh, oh they're gonna serve. fight! And you really want to attack me. Don't you want to play dice poker, maybe? <laughs> no. Five. Okay, so you shuffle your discard pile with your deck. We have shuffled our discard pile with our deck. If there were any other players, they may bet right now, either on attacker or the defender. Mm. You have... Can I bet on myself? No. Okay, you have uh, started, so go first. Okay, so I'm gonna drink some potion. Mm -hmm. lower, lower your shield level by one to draw two cards immediately. Mm -hmm. A thunderbolt. Oh, oh my days. This works. Oh. 
Mm, okay. Okay. Here I go. This is my first shot. So, I put my shield back up. You get four damage, Ooh, but I draw... One, two, three, and four. Yeah, yeah, but I draw two less cards, so zero. Okay. No potions for me. Just gonna play Exploding Shield followed by a Faint. Wow. Yepers. So, I get two shields back, mm -hmm. and you get two damage. Mm -hmm. And I draw the top card from my discard pile. Thank you very much. And I take two new cards. And now you go. So now I'm just going to use my armor. Well, which is specialty of the bear. Yes. And I draw one more card. Yeah. Immediately. Bear Witcher School. Reduce your armor. Draw a card. I like it. Very much in keeping with uh, School of the Bear. With all the armor and the toughness. Next, I'm going to drink the um, potion. Mm. If you have max two cards in your hand, draw the top card from your discard pile, which is this one. It goes right here. Which is bad. Uh, yes, for you. Three damage. I take the cards. Okay. So I'm losing my shields and one card on top of that. I don't feel particularly good right now, but I'm going to be drink blood blood. Mm -hmm. Play only one card, but deal additional damage, so you get two. Thanks a lot. And I draw two cards from my combat. Okay, um, Oh, the so deck is running thin. Okay, quick slash. So I lose two cards from the top. Ooh. And you draw two as well. I have a pretty strong card, and, and I'm not able to use the extension, and I'm afraid that you're going to finish me. So, so I have to use it like that and you get three damage okay uh one two mm -hmm. yes and three out of my hand yeah okay uh okay and as for my last move there you go uh, two damage so i am done we have both lost, lost our cards at the same time but you are the one that uh i dealt the final punch and then i fainted <laughs> on the ground nice <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> But people are going to tell a tale yeah. of a particular witcher from the bear school. <laughs> so right now, you get a trophy from my school. Mm -hmm. You move up by one. Yes, please. You go through your deck. Uh -huh. You trash one card mm -hmm. as a fatigue. And you are ahead in the game. You also get one gold for winning a brawl against a simple witcher as myself. Great. Nice. That was your second phase, and now you go to the third phase. Okay. Draw three cards. Draw three get cards. One. Get a new and one. I only draw three cards after taking the beating, mm -hmm. but I also before you draw a card, I gain a zero cost card from the pool. I've learned something about myself. Oh. Okay. So, so you still get rewarded for getting beat up. The counter attack. Card. Yes, it's for free now. So I don't feel great about myself, <laughs> but, but I'm going to catch up. I travel here to Banard, where I train alchemy, uh, which then means he levels I'm going up. to level two. Thank you very much. I get a potion for my alchemy and one card. Moving on, I play another card to move to Kaer Morhen, which is empty, but they will take my gold and help me train so i get mm. combat three nice and i don't have the required symbol to move to hank Force, so i play any two cards and perfectly i have no gold so i get <laughs> one gold i promise them i will kill some monsters and i get a trail token let me see okay nice i want to go for something bigger which is a fiend so what I really like about that, so yes, I have just picked up again that the symbols on the bottom of the cards, whether it's the wood symbol or the water symbol or the earth symbol and whatnot, obviously determines which direction you can go. So we figured that out. We've 
bit figured out the turn sequence, but then also in the fact that he, the symbol up there on uh, the the location that the developer's just gone onto um, says that if you've not got any gold, you do get a gold, but then you also have to kill a monster as well for them, so you get a trail token. So that's really interesting, actually. Just goes to show that some people can play aggressive and start fighting everyone, but then there's still options for you to, to, to do your own game plan. So excellent stuff so far. So, Beauclair, when I travel to Beauclair, it will give me some information about the monster and a gold. And this time around, I want to explore surroundings again. Before you cross the bridge, you notice a long line of wagons and riders. You talk to a soldier guarding the bridge. If you're going to Sintra, you can't pass. This is the road of no return for everyone. Well, almost for everyone. For you, it can make an exception. You can either cross the bridge or you can choose another road. Of course I cross the bridge. Of I'm course. not afraid. Of course. You see <laughs> bones of the dead and scattered weapons by the side of the road. Uh, wait, uh, I take it back. No, it's too late. What monster is capable of defeating so many armed men? Uh, you get quest to Sintra. Oh, okay. So I keep it here. Oh, I thought something brutal was going to happen. <laughs> Which is cool because I was going to Sintra anyway. I draw three cards and I purchase a magic trap. Now, Ola, it's your turn. And after you take your turn, we may wrap this up, okay? All right. So as for me, I'm going to Visima, mm. right there. Uh, you can get rid of the last two cards, let's say. Those two? Yeah, the, those okay. two. Next, I'm going to Novigrad. Yeah. I'm going to play poker. Against some uh, local folk. Oh, okay, yes. you give one coin and then two. There are two guys that are playing against you, but one has already lost. No, this is so cool. Ooh, Ooh doggy. Okay, I have a pair. Three. Okay, a good reroll will give me a straight flush. So, <laughs> here comes nothing. Three. No, a four. I have I have already lost. I have a pair of fours. All right. Yeah, really oh, she got some gold. And next, I'm going to Karseren. Uh, and since I'm in Kar Karseren, yeah. you can read me my quest card. This is 25. 25. Okay, we got it. God, that's a lot of quests. With you to the tail of the prophet Lebioda. Yes. Okay, wait. <laughs> and second of all, did you learn anything? Says a familiar voice outside the door. So first, open the door and attack the imposters. Yes. Or second, jump out the window and ambush the imposters from the back. The first one. The first one? Yeah. Either or you attack them. Okay. You give them no time to react as you push them against the wall with a sign. <laughs> one man immediately falls unconscious while the other needs a little help. That you quickly provide with your fist. <laughs> raise your it. raise your specialty level by one. Yeah. Okay, you can also train in Kyle Seren. Yes, please. Before the end That's of the awesome. Game. I so love I'm it. Train combat and pay three. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's it. So I think we can wrap this up. I hope that you see how the game works. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing so great right now, but but I am trailing a pretty serious monster probably i would go for a second one somewhere on the south maybe down the line try to get a trophy off of you <laughs> oh <laughs> uh i think i would get as many stories as i can really <laughs> yes. even though you're ready for arachas no i would go get him too but okay. i like the stories the best <laughs> as you can see the witcher old world is a big adventure game one session for two players will take 60 to 90 minutes of traveling adventures, quests, and Oh wow, it takes quite a long more time. For more players, also you can choose even bigger, longer game mode for a really big game night. Wow. So as a board gamer, I usually play card games more often, or Euro games, mm. more than adventure games. But this one is... A I, I know, and it hurts. 
<laughs> but this one is different, a little different, because it merges deck building, which I like a lot. And I like the fact that the cards are used in, in, in different ways. You have to really think about how you're going to use them. Yeah. And also, I like the feel of an adventure. That mm -hmm. it's really... I, I, I like the story behind it. So it's not just a promise of an adventure within a game, but actually I can... I, can, I know what I've been through. That's a bitch. I'm really glad that you like it. And I hope that you got a sense of how the game works, you get a better understanding of the gameplay and the turn structure in the Witcher Old World. We were very nice to each other, but you can also play in a dirty way, so <laughs> go for it. Uh, Brilliant. No, I, I, I took your money, you took my pride, so... Yeah, but above the board, you oh, were yeah, very yeah, nice. Yeah, of course. We will share a full rulebook uh, during the Kickstarter campaign, so that way you will be able to understand. Oh, what a good idea. Completely. Brilliant. But if you have any questions right now, feel free to post them in the comments. So before we go, thank you, Ola. Thanks again for coming and uh, helping me show the gameplay. No problem. I, I wasn't expecting you are going to go after me so quickly. But anyway, water <laughs> under the bridge. Uh, there is more stuff coming on this channel, on our Facebook page. And of course, follow the Kickstarter project. That's it for today. Bye-bye. See ya. Well, what else can we say? That was really good. I'm I'm really stoked for that. I love the flow of the gameplay that they've got there. They're obviously super enthusiastic about it. I can't wait to see what extension goals they have for the Kickstarter. And that's a rare thing for me to say, to be honest, because I think that Kickstarter has just gone to a crazy level where these games that we're buying right now on Kickstarter, they, they two, three hundred pounds, whatever you want to convert that into your local currency for. You know, these are pretty big, expensive games. This looks really well produced. I'm sure it's not going to be super cheap, but you know what? I, I'm pretty excited about how it looks. And uh, if the extension goals are good, then I'll, I'll probably look to go all the way if I can actually get there in time before all the other Witcher heads that uh, are there. But otherwise, the gameplay looks really good. I, uh, I, I love the fact that there's all the memorable locations there. Uh, the flow of the game seems really good. Um, I do like the narrative aspect as well. That's something I wasn't expecting. So all of the different quests that you've got that lead one to the other and all the choices in between, um, absolutely awesome. It seems like there's going to be a lot of longevity in there as well. So really excited to, uh, to to keep on following this. And if you guys think we're doing a good job here, please feel free to uh, click the like button. Please feel free to subscribe because we've got more stuff going on. And check out some of our other videos as well. We play a lot of Witcher the Card Game and, uh, you know, hopefully, we can imbibe some more Witcher goodness and uh, catch up with you next time. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers.